it's Soja Girl, and yes, I'm back for another coupon video from my kitchen where it all really started, in a sense. I think it's easier if you can actually visually see everything versus I know when I'm in my car and I was just kind of like throwing things up in the frame. Okay, so I went to CBS today. Not a whole lot going on, you guys, which really sucks because I'm sure we're entering this week, rather, with a crap load of extra care bucks. We've got the cash cards as well, and so it kind of sucks to come into this week with not a whole lot of deals, and you're left like holding a bunch of extra care bucks. And I know like some of you guys, I've seen your videos, some of you guys have like literally hundreds, I'm sure, in extra care bucks. And so um, these are a couple of deals that I went for. I went for the Glade. It's purchased $12 in Glade, and you're going to get back a $4 extra care buck. Basically, you're going to pay six bucks out of your pocket and you're going to get back four of that in the form of an extra care buck. A lot of people don't understand that. When I when I post pictures on Facebook, you guys, I'm saying it's free. Yes, it is free, but I'm not. it's not like I'm going in with nothing. I'm going in with extra care bucks, whether it be registered rewards, whether it be, um, whether it be the gift cards, the American Express cards, the cash cards. But basically, I'm not pulling any money out of my pocket. Okay, and that's how you do that. You accumulate your registry rewards, you accumulate them so that way when you're making your purchases, you're purchasing things that are going to get you back more rewards, more extra care bucks to use on something else. Alright, so that's what I did here. Now, the Glade, like I said, was six bucks out of pocket, you got back four dollars. Um, I went ahead and got the All May in the front, which is the Color Eye Intense, or the Smoky Eye Kits. These are $5.99 and you're going to get back a three dollar extra care buck, right? Well. Last week, the red box was printing out $3 off coupons. I used that one and stacked that one with a $2 off manufacturer coupon, and we got last Sunday's paper. So I got 5 bucks off this. So I only paid $0.99 cents for this out of pocket and got back $3, which means I gained. I made 2 bucks off this alone, which is awesome because these can be kind of expensive. Um, but I do like them because they make it easy to, um, to get you into wearing more um, makeup and knowing how to apply it. Um, I also went ahead and got the Revlon. We did get Redbox um, coupons from last week too for $3 off of Revlon. These are buy one get one 50% off. We also have $2 off coupons that we got. I think we got those today. And so I used two $2 off coupons as well as a $3 off coupon for this and got these basically for super cheap. Went towards the um, cash card and so you can't beat that. I also went for the greeting cards. Now, I know a lot of you guys are kind of like, eh, about the greeting cards because I know you guys have tons of them because I do. I have a box of them on the floor over there. And whenever they run the deal, I just toss them in there. One of these days, I'm just going to take it to work and let the, let the staff kind of go at it. Either that or I'm going to start using them for my clients um, for their birthdays and for holidays. That would be really, really cool too. Um, but anyways, it's purchase three. And you get a $3 extra care bucks, making them essentially free if you choose to get them at once for 99 cents. You're better off just getting the 99 cent cards and keeping it moving, all right? It makes them free. Now, I also got seven newspapers with this, you guys, as well. And I got the LA Times that are two bucks each because I forgot to get them yesterday. Um, which I don't know how the hell I forgot to get them yesterday. But anyways, basically I used my cash card. I didn't pay anything out of my pocket at all for this. I also used about $12 in extra care bucks as well. Got back $10 in extra care bucks and a coupon for 10% off of a, um, a, a cosmetic purchase. Um, that was basically it, you guys, with CVS. Like I said, not a whole lot going on. I'm going to see if I can squeeze in Walgreens because my camera has been flipping, tripping lately. Okay, so at CB and Walgreens, brother, not a whole lot going on, you guys, like I said. Um, but these are the deals that I went for. I went for the South Beach um, snack bars, the Thermacare, the uh, Be South Beach bars are $5.99. You're going to get that back in a, in a registry reward, or you're going to get back 6 bucks actually. Um, there's a dollar off printable coupon that was, um, is no longer available, actually. So basically, you're out of pocket, but these are going to be $5.99. You're going to get back 6 You're going to gain a dollar on this. A dollar and a penny. Um, the Thermic here are two forty nine. There's no coupon associated with this item at this time, um, and so you're gonna basically pay two forty nine and get that back. I also picked up the filler item, which is just the gummy bears, and I picked up a I picked up the Snicker only because I know that if you you purchase the little candy bars and stuff, it helps out the cashiers and stuff. It's, it's they get some kind of incentive, and so there's an in ad coupon for this that makes these fifty nine cents for both of these. All right. I also used um, five dollars in extra care bucks. I mean, not extra care bucks. I used five dollars in registry rewards for this transaction, and I basically paid three dollars and fifty six cents out of pocket. And like I said, I got back two fifty for this one, 
and I got back uh, $6 for this one. I rolled that one into my last transaction, which I went ahead and got the, um, the, um, a Brexen, a Brexen, I think that's how you pronounce it, a Brexen, with a Snicker bar as well, and, um, I used, like I said, I, I rolled those register rewards into this transaction, and I basically paid, I paid $2.97 and got back $10, so, that really wasn't too bad, um, it was more than I wanted to spend at Walgreens, but I understood with going in with only $5, I was going to spend something out of my pocket, um, so I basically paid six, almost seven dollars here. Not a problem because I didn't pay anything for freaking CVS, so I'm not really tripping at all. And I left with ten dollars here and ten dollars there. Um, don't think I'll be back at CVS or Walgreens this week unless there's some kind of magical, freaking awesome deals like last week um, that get me going back. Other than that, this is it for this week. Hope that you guys have a wonderful week and couponing, and I will see you all different day, different time. Same channel.